Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda and I make mummy lifestyle videos over here and it's lovely to have you or if you're new, welcome. Today I've got another festive video for you. It's a bit of a niche video. It's a gift idea that I've put together for one of my daughters who had a very specific Christmas gift which I struggled to find and so I thought I'd bring it to you and show you how I've done our take on it and that is a perfume kit. So about a month ago, my daughter asked me for a perfume kit for Christmas. She's six years old and she likes the fact that in the garden she used to let make perfumes with and flower petals. She sees that I wear perfume most days and it's on my dressing table and she just likes the idea of being able to make her own perfume. So I just thought, oh, I'll go and buy a kit from online. So I scoured Amazon and eBay and some of the toy shops and um, had a look at some of the perfume kits that were out there for children. And generally, they all came with really poor reviews or they came with very basic kit that you could make barely anything with and had no flexibility to them. So I could have just bought one, but I just felt like it would be throwing like 15 quid away and I didn't think it would be something we'd actually be able to use long term. And recently... I've really got into my diffuser and I've started buying some essential oils. So I thought it'd be a really good idea to put together an actual perfume making kit that we could make perfumes together. So this kit is a kit that she will need to do with an adult. It's not something I can just kind of hand over and she can go and do it herself. Maybe if you were making it for a teenager, that would be fine. But a younger child, I think de there's definitely ingredients in this kit that you're going to need to supervise them with. And But it will mean that you should make something that actually smells like perfume. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what I've bought. The first thing you're going to need to do is buy yourself some essential oils. And what I did after a little bit of research online, I discovered that for making a really nice perfume, you're going to need top notes, mid notes and base notes to make a really good perfume. So your top notes are your um, scents that you will get to your initial smell when you make that perfume and that's the smell that will hit you first. Your mid notes are the ones that will last um, longer and kind of give you an idea of whether it's going to be a floral perfume, a woody perfume, that kind of family of perfumes and then your base notes are the ones that kind of set the mid notes and make your perfume last for hours. So you need a few from each. Now I went online, the ones I'm going to show you are more, I've got mostly top notes with a couple of one mid and two bottom. And if you just Google online, I found a really one on WikiHow, which told you loads of examples of different essential oils that you could use for each of the notes. Um, I picked more of the top notes because from my essential oil collection that I have myself for our diffuser, I already had quite a lot of the ones they were suggesting for mid and base notes. So I've just bought her a selection. I went onto eBay, I got six for about seven quid. So really cheap to buy these, but actually these bottles are going to last ages. I'll be able to use them on my diffuser if she doesn't want to use them for the perfume kit anymore. And we'll be able to make loads of perfume out of them. So I started off with some top note ones. The ones I bought were lavender because we have a lavender plant in the garden she really likes that coriander bit of a random one but her and her dad both are obsessed with coriander and would eat it by the handful that's that's another one um sweet orange scents are top notes so i had tangerine so i picked that one you can buy one that's just called sweet orange and a grapefruit one that was something quite fruity but i've also got other ones i'm gonna just pull up my the website because it had it had loads of other ones things like basil mint rosemary lime are all also classed as top note ones then the mid note one the only one i've bought that's for her is this can you see it lemongrass one and the other mid notes that you can get again i had loads of these already jasmine rose nutmeg lemongrass juniper cinnamon clove i bought loads of cinnamon and clove stuff apologies there my memory card ran out of memory so I've just had to pull all my videos off so I can carry on. I think I was just talking about the mid notes and they were saying how I'd got quite a lot of those already and that things like cinnamon and nutmeg I had loads of because I bought them for autumn so for my diffuser and then finally the base notes were the ones I've picked up were I don't know how to pronounce this patchouli patchouli there's one of them and I've also got a picked up a strawberry one 
which is a fragrance oil, not an essential oil, because I know she likes the smell of strawberry as well. But with your base notes, there's a lot we already had, like ginger, vanilla, sandalwood, vetiver, pine, cedarwood. So I'd bought quite a few of these as well that I had for my diffuser. So she's now got a really good, she's got a little mini collection of her own, and she's also got access to all of my essential oils. So she's got plenty of essential oils. The next thing that I bought to go into the little gift basket for her were these um, fractionated coconut oils. You basically need something called a carrier oil that you that's like most of the liquid I guess and then the essential oils are what give you the scent. Um, I just picked up these 50 mils each. Yeah, I, th I think I ordered 100 ml and they just came in two 50 ml bottles, which is quite nice because they're two smaller little bottles. But these were two pounds just for this, so that was nice and cheap, reasonable off of eBay. I then also wanted to get her some little mini bottles. So I have, um, I found these on eBay as well. They came a bit smaller than I was expecting, but I think that they'll be perfect. They're actually this amber kind of coloured glass, which I've read is good for helping the perfume not to lose its scent, especially if you put it in sunlight and things like that, or it's on a dressing table, because sunlight can affect the scent or something. So if you have them in these amber bottles, that's supposed to help the scent last longer. But they are these little um, rollables, which I think are going to be perfect for, um, just when she's made up her little perfumes, she'll be able to use them and not so much spraying and mess making. So I bought a set of these and I think the person on eBay sent me sent me the wrong amount because I'm pretty sure I ordered five and she sent me 20, so I've got loads of these. So I've got all these little bottles that they'll go in. The next thing is a set of pipettes. I did see on eBay they had some really lovely glass pipettes, but seeing as I'm buying this for a child, to be using with a child, that I thought plastic might be the way forward with this. But they obviously obviously be reusable plastic, so not just single use. And I went opted for a set of four graduated pipettes, so a 0 0.5, 1ml, 3ml and 5ml pipettes. So they'll be really useful for her to measure out her ingredients for each of her perfumes. And then finally, I also saw this in Primark when I was in there last month before lockdown. It was £3.50. I just thought it was a really nice something to actually go in the box that showed exactly what the box was. That it's a perfume set. So it's an, a perfume atomizer. It was £3.50. I also have a couple of really little mini bottles from... You know when you go to a hotel you get shampoo and conditioners, some nice little bottles like that that I've just rinsed off, removed the labels and I'm going to pop some of those in there so she can use those for putting, making up her different mixtures or different scents and so she's got something to store perfumes in as well so I'm going to pop those in as well. I went on to Canva and just made up a little sign for her so the plan is I've got a little box which is just an old cardboard box I've cut off three of the flaps. I've made a little sign that says Jessica's perfume kit that I'm going to I might laminate this, stick it on here, and then I'm going to put all the things in here really nicely. Maybe some cellophane, maybe not, maybe a ribbon, dunno. Not quite sure exactly how I'm gonna wrap it up yet, but the plan that's the plan. I'm gonna make it into a really nice little set for her so she knows exactly what exactly what it is when she opens it up on Christmas morning. Oh, one ingredient I haven't got here that you will need. I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to just pop it in or whether I'm just going to, when she makes it, just kind of produce it. And that is alcohol. So you do need alcohol for the perfumes to make. I'm not sure what the perf what it does actually. Probably should find that out. Um, but you just need a very high proof alcohol. So you can just use like a high proof vodka. <laughs> I'm not sure Stu's gonna be overly impressed if I start pulling out his fancy vodkas out of the cupboard to use for Jessica's perfume. So I think I'm just gonna buy really cheap, like 50, 100 mil vodka, maybe 100, 100 mil, 50 mils. What are the little ones you get? The little tester ones? Maybe a couple of those to work, I don't know. I might be able to find one in a Christmas pack, you never know at this time of year. Um, and either just keep them aside or put them in and take the label off so it doesn't. she doesn't realise that it's that kind of alcohol. That I'll talk to her about the different types of alcohol and it's being used uh, for some purpose. I don't know what the purpose is at the moment. But that's it. I'm going to pop it all together so I'll show you how I put it all together and then I'm going to show you the final...
So here you have it. This is the finished gift. So I've popped some celebrating around the actual the present mainly so that everything stays in place and then just labelled it at the back. But I think this has been a really, really lovely gift for somebody that really likes like craft things or maybe you've got someone who's on a bit of a um, eco kick trying to not use too many um, shop bought products and things and maybe likes to do things with essential oils so something like this it's a really simple little kit all the stuff I picked up on eBay or the atomizer was from Primark so all really really reasonable the whole package came in about 20 pounds I'd say and some of the things like the little bottles I had I re reused them but I think it's a really really lovely um, gift it shows you've put a real lot of thought into it to the present and you can just um, present it and then they can make loads and maybe you might even get some nice perfume in return so that's what I'm hoping I'm hoping we might actually be able to make some decent perfume together and I really hope Jessica really enjoys this present and we can do it together as a nice activity to share so I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you some inspiration for a really nice personalized gift that's a bit different not going to be everyone's cup of tea but it's something that someone in your life might enjoy if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to stick around. I'd love you to subscribe. I'd love you to stay around. I've got more festive content coming your way soon. So the next video I think is going to be, is it a festive house tour? Could be, could be Christmas, budget Christmas Eve ideas. I've got a few ideas coming your way soon. So stick around, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time for another video you coming your way soon. Bye.